Hey, good day, good day, good day, good day, good day. Thank you for joining the Real Brian Glaze Gives YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you support. Make sure you comment. Hey, listen, today what I'm talking about is a rapper. It's these three rappers from Detroit. Like, you know, hold up. When you sit back and you look at it, being a rapper can be a dangerous job. If you look at what's going on, when I was coming up as rappers, it was having fun. You know what I'm saying? Having fun. Rapping about real life, like having fun, getting the girls, chilling, having a good time. No violence, no drama. Now you look at with these rappers, every time you look around, you got them getting murdered, getting robbed. I'm telling you, everything is happening. So once again, like I stumble upon this story about these three Detroit rappers. Okay, here it go. The disappearance of three aspiring rappers who were scheduled to perform in Detroit before they went missing has their family fearing the worst. Amani Kelly, 38, Montoyo Given, 31, and Dante Wicker, 31, was supposed to perform at Lounge 31 in Detroit on January 21st, but 10 days later, all three men's whereabouts are unknown. I'm not going to say no. In my gut, my heart, he's gone, say Lori Kemp, Kelly mom. As much as I love him and I want him to be okay, I just want to take him home so we can lay him down to rest. The three men were scheduled to perform for a birthday party. Kelly allegedly picked up Givens and Wicker on the way to the concert before it was canceled. Since then, no one has heard from the three. From there, we just have a lot of unanswered questions that we're trying to find an answer to. Detroit Police Commander Michael McGinnis say the fact that the three of them are missing together is very concerning and very alarming for us. Now, Detroit police are among several law enforcement agencies searching for the man. They are seeking tip and ask the public. They can anonymously report any information at Crime Stopper. But right now, McGinnis say one family member believed the man had made it to the club before disappearing, though police are still working to confirm that. Phone record for all three men ended that weekend. Kemp reported her son disappearance on January 23rd. Four days later, family members for Gibbons and Wicker saw a similar media report about Kelly, which indicate all three knew each other. Kemp also used Unstar to track the vehicle Kelly was in, locating it in Warren. It was recovered on January 23rd, but no other evidence was recovered. According to Kelly Mom, post on Facebook, the three met in the Department of Correction. In the same post, she chastised law enforcement for not doing more to help find her son. Shame on the police, shame on the whole state, and shame on you, Detroit, she wrote. Folks, listen, three guys, like I say, rappers, aspiring rapper, they're supposed to be performing. The show got canceled. Now, all of a sudden, they gone. And you know what? You sit back and you look at it from a family standpoint. That is very disturbing, man. Because once again, you know you got loved ones out there, but you can't find them. Let's see what this. Let me look at this and see what happened. Hold on. APD headquarters. And Charla, we understand you just heard from police. They have an update on the investigation. Yeah, I tell you what, we literally just heard about it less than an hour ago from Chief White himself updating us on the investigation. But as the chief pretty much said, and I'll reiterate now, uh, there are still a lot more questions to be answered. Wish we had more information. It's not for lack of trying. There are a number of police agencies trying to find three men, three rappers who were last seen about 10 days ago. They believe that these rappers were last seen at a club, Lounge 31 on the east side of Detroit. Their car was is found in Warren, but where the connection is, that remains a mystery. Real quick, we're looking for 38-year-old now, Armani Kelly from Oscoda, and then 31-year-old Montoya, uh, Montoya Gibbons from Detroit, and Dante Wickers from Melvindale. Let's all look, let's look at the chief right now, because he outlines a number of concerns. Take a listen. There are some pieces of the case that are very concerning, one being uh, that the vehicle was located uh, and warned that, that they were driving. The police were able to get three search warrants out quickly, and then they got phone records. And we were able to pull phone data and see that there's no activity on any of their phones. They're not hitting any towers. They're not communicating. Um, that's also very concerning. More concerns. But the working theory is now that all three of the men did make it to Lounge 31 to perform some rap show. But that show got canceled. That's the theory. Um, we know right now that they were together at some point, all three. Um, we know that at this point that the event was canceled at Lounge 31. 
Um, what we don't know completely is what happened from that point and if they left together or, or what. And we also don't know why that rap show was canceled. Again, there are still a lot more questions to be answered. Now, Chief White hesitating a little bit. There may be some more news uh, out of that Warren where that car was found. It was found in, found in an apartment building. There are still questioning uh, people over there. But the chief wanted to emphasize that the most important thing and the most troubling thing, the fact that within the last 10 days, no social media communication and no phone communication from the these three, that's very troubling. One other thing, the chief wants to make it known that if anybody out there has any information about these three, give the Detroit police a call. Taryn, I'll send it back to you. Well, you mentioned their phones, Charlie. Were they able to ping them before they went off? I mean, do we know where these three individ individuals were when their phones were still working? Was the, lo uh, the lounge the last place that they were um, heard from on their phones? Yeah. Yeah, they, they, the search warrants, they actually got the search warrants uh, on the, uh, on the, uh, uh, for the phones. Uh, they were all pinned before January 21st. So since January 21st, no pins, just no communication, which is another thing uh, which is troubling a little bit. Is that some of these men were reported a, a missing a couple of days after January 31st. But that's why the police are taking such a, an, an interest and an, an intense investigation on this because of the fact that it's been just too long now. And these are young men. Somewhere, somehow, these three should have been discovered. They haven't. Taryn? Quite a mystery. Hey, and sit we back know and think about that right now. Things, Look at that. You know what? Here it is. How in the heck these guys has disappeared? Not only that, what type of show was they supposed to perform? You know, did any of these guys have any type of, like, big jewelry on? Because a lot of times right now, people can set you up. They act like they want you to perform for them, but in actuality, they're going to rob you. So I don't know, man. But what I'm saying right now, folks, listen, man, be careful. Be aware. You know what? Trust nobody. Trust is not given. Trust is earned. Hopefully, we have a peaceful, peaceful resolution with this whole situation. And these guys, you know what I'm saying, return back to their family, or at least the family get some type of form of closure. Hey, hit the like button, subscribe, share. Once again, I am the real Brian Glaze Gibb.